Now, fresh clashes have been reported between Armenia and Azerbaijan, which will continue through Sunday in the conflicted region of Nagorno-Karabakh. And this, of course, violated the ceasefire agreement that was signed between the two nations at the behest of the Russians after a conflict that lasted for well over six weeks. The Azerbaijani Defense Ministry has said that four of its soldiers were killed when their units were attacked in areas that are adjacent to Nagorno-Karabakh. While authorities in Armenia have said that six of their troops had also been wounded. The ministry claimed that the Armenian fighters remained in the mountainous province, breaking the terms of the Russian broker truce. Now, both Armenia and Azerbaijan have accused each other of breaching the truce that ended six weeks of fighting between the two former Soviet nations. Now, the government in Baku has said that the clashes, which also left about two other Azeri servicemen wounded, had taken place in an area that fell clearly under its control as a part of the trilateral peace deal. The Russian peacekeeping forces deployed in Nagorno-Karabakh have also confirmed the ceasefire violation that has taken place in the region and the new clashes mark the first significant breach of the peace deal brokered by Russia on the 10th of November. The peace deal saw Azerbaijan reclaim control over large parts of regions adjoining Nagorno-Karabakh, which earlier had been held by the Armenian forces after they had conquered those territories in the 1994 war and had expelled hundreds of thousands of Azerbaijanis from those lands. Now, earlier on Saturday, Azerbaijan's President Ilham Aliyev blamed the Armenian forces for instigating the new clashes and also threatened to crush the Armenian forces with an iron fist.